Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing about French feminism. So let's start. So the history of feminist ideology and movements in France is known as feminism in France. French feminism can be divided into three waves. First wave feminism was primarily concerned with women's suffrage and civic rights from the French Revolution until the Third Republic. The French Revolution of 1848 and the Paris Commune made significant contributions culminating in 1944 when women were granted the right to vote. The second wave feminism emerged in 1940s as a reassessment of women's role in society, attempting to reconcile women's unequal treatment in society despite their allegedly equal political standing to men. The assurance of improved bodily autonomy for women through improved access to abortion and birth control were significant political aims for second wave feminism. Since the 2000s, third wave feminism has built on the legacy of the second wave while also including parts of post-colonial feminism addressing women's right alongside other ongoing debate particularly those concerning with racism. So our first French feminist include Luce Arigiri. Basically, she is a feminist philosopher, linguist, psycholinguist, psychotherapist and cultural theorist who studied how language is used and misused in connection to women. She was graduated from the University of Leuven with a bachelor's degree in 1954 and master's degree in 1956. She completed a PhD in linguistic in 1968. from the University of Vincennes in St. Denis. Her major work includes Speculum of the Other Woman. In this famous work of her, she critiqued the exclusion of women from both philosophy and psychoanalytic theory, after which she earned her recognition as a leading feminist theory or feminist theorist and continental philosopher. According to her, women have always been identified with matter and nature at the expense of a female subject position women can become subjects by assimilation to male subjectivity but there is no distinctive subject position for women her second work is women on the market arigiri uses karl marx theory of capitalism to argues that women are traded amongst men in the same manner that any other commodity is traded she claims that this exchange of women is the foundation of our entire society society determines her exchange worth whereas the value sorry the use value is her natural qualities according to her this system creates three types of women the mother who is all use value the virgin who is all exchange value and the prostitute who embodies both use and exchange value so the second french feminist include julia kristeva she was basically a bulgarian french philosopher literary critic psychotherapist feminist and novelist who was born on june 24th 1941 and has lived in france since the mid 1960s kristeva went on to study at the university of sofia sofia <coughs> and while and moved to france in december 1965 when she was 24 she continued her education at several french universities Kristeva taught at Columbia University in the early 1970s and remains a visiting professor. Although many feminist theorist and literary critic have found her ideas useful and provocative, Kristeva relation to feminism has been ambivalent one. So her major work uh, or her views about feminism are best represented in her essay Women's Time in the New Maladies of the Soul. In this essay originally published in 1979 she argues that there are three phases of feminism she rejects the first phase because it seeks universal equality and it ignores sexual differences she implicitly criticizes simon de beauvoir and the rejection of motherhood rather than reject motherhood and insists that we need a new discourse of maternity kristeva suggests that real female innovation in whatever field will only come about when maternity female creation and the link between them are a better understood kristeva also rejects what she sees as the second phase of feminism because it seeks a uniquely feminine language which she thinks is impossible 
Christieva does not agree with feminists who maintain that language and culture are essentially patriarchal and must somehow be abandoned. On the contrary, Christieva insists that culture and language are the domain of speaking beings and women are primarily speaking beings. Christieva endorses what she identifies as the third phase of feminism, which she, which she seeks to reconceive of identity and differences and their relationships. This current phase of feminism refuses to choose identity over differences or vice versa. Rather, it explores multiple identities, including multiple sexual identities. So the third French feminist include Helen Sixes. Helen Sixes was born on 5th June 1937 in Orient, and she was a French feminist writer, poet, play writer, philosopher, and literary critic. Sixes is best known for her article, The Law of the Medusa, which established her as one of the early thinkers in post-structural feminism. Sixes earned her aggregation in English in 1959 and her doctorate in 1968. Her main focus at this time was English literature and the works of James Joyce. Helen Sixes was part of the French feminist movement, which had significantly grown since 1968 when the frustration and anger at the exclusion of women from the political institution become apparent. In her time, feminists were con convinced that language reflects this kind of exclusion and that their presence in literature would change existing po power relations. Their aim was to be heard as women within a female discourse rather than women as a subject of male discourse. In the 1970s, sexes was considered to be one of the most influential representatives of the post-structuralist theory. She talks about a theory that analyzes the patriarchal structures of society and the positions that women occupy within them. Orientating uh, towards this theory, Sixers wanted uh, the public to understand why women tolerate social relations which eventually subordinate their interests to those of men. Furthermore, she focused on the way in which text construct meanings and its political implication both by looking back on the past and by examining the present. So in this video, I talked about three major French feminists and how these three waves basically affect these three feminists and they basically uh, some of them reject these three waves while uh, in short I discuss about French feminism. So that's all from my side. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you for watching.